Oh, today is Monday, October 24th, 2022. I'll take you on a bicycle ride. Oh, between Charleville and nowhere. Maybe to Bailey Hay Mountain. Not sure. This is just a really nice side road. Hello, lads. Some of the sights that I'll see on this road. First and foremost is no traffic. I love this road. Because usually on the main road I'll see, you know, too many cars, vehicles. Over here I'll see some tractors, farm vehicles. You never know, but usually not too many cars and trucks. That being said, here's the road. I think this will be called Bailey Simon. So, out through the Bailey Simon way here. Bailey Sally, actually Bailey Sally. Sally was the name of my Jack Russell Terrier that I had for about a year or two. Sally. So through Bailey Sally here, these little areas do have names, but I don't have them recorded, written down anywhere. This really pretty country road. This is my view. That's the Bailey Hura Mountains there. You can see them below the clouds. I haven't walked up there in a while. I've been doing other things. Isn't that pretty? There's beauty in the clouds, you know? Shapes, patterns, colors. You can tell by the road that it's rained overnight. This section of the road gets a bit bumpy here. Uh, there's not much to see, there's some nice horses down the way, sometimes they're right up by the fence. Hopefully I'll get some of them on the camera. But I may have to pause the video, as you can probably tell the road is bumpy. Nice little houses out here in the middle of nowhere. Cottage, I'd call that. Farmer's cottage, right? Very nice. Ready? Now this road will take you up to Effin. E-F-F-I-N. Don't blink as I'm going through it. Like I said, what I like most about this trail, the road, is it's kind of like a trail. Sure, I'll see a couple vehicles, but nothing like the main road in and out of town. Sure, it's bumpy, but it's also empty. Not sure in the background of the video if you can hear the birds singing, but... Not right here, but usually when there's a group of them, you'll hear them, all right? So. It's just a road with a lot of farms. There's a pooch there. I've never seen him before. Hopefully he doesn't chase me. Hello there, fella. Oh. Not interested in this bicyclist. He doesn't want to gnaw off my legs. Gnaw my legs. Here's where I see the two horses. I don't see them this morning. 
Maybe they're over here. In that pen, nope. Nope. Two pretty lads roam around this pen here. Not today though. Usually I say hello to them. There's a nice old house over here. But you know, in my day, in my youth, it would have been great fixer-upper. It's a great shell, you know. Look at it there. It's a big house. Someone's been at it because the windows have been knocked out. And there's a van back there. So... Maybe some people will be moving in there. Just need someone with some energy and a little bit of money. A lot of energy. This is a country home. Oh, Gary and Dirk were in the vicinity of the township. What you want to call it, Gary and Dirk. Harder to spell than it is to say. Ooh. Excuse my breathlessness. I am pedaling away furiously here. This is also a really bumpy patch. Keep this patch. Okay. Some cows over there. Hello, girls. Can't see them now. It's a lovely home. Back to the road. So this is a 10 mile loop. I do. It's become my go-to route. Um, let's say the past 30, 25 to 30 times. Uh, I gave up on the main road going towards the golf course because the traffic was just a bit too much for me. It was only a mile that I had to drive on it, but just too many vehicles going too fast, unsafe. And then I found this little trail road. I liken it to a trail because there's not a lot going on here. It's fairly rough. But anyways, it's quiet. It does go over the railroad tracks. Watch, there's a bridge. There's a place where I was going over the railroad tracks that are on the ground, but the trains come through more than once an hour, and there's, you know, two-way traffic, so it'll be a 10-15 minute wait at the gate if you hit it just wrong, but another little feature of this road is at the intersection with the, with the train, the train crossing, there's another little road that connects back to where I turned left here. It comes back around. And it doesn't take anything off of my journey. I could go straight through that. I go back across town, behind the town I should say, and I get a mile or two extra. I also get a lot of cars and trucks because there's some warehouses and such. So like I said, it's really nice back here. Quiet. I don't see a lot of wildlife. I did see a deceased fox on the way up, unfortunately, to the beauty. Continuing on down the road, I had to pause because the there's a bit of an intersection. And of course, I've seen a vehicle there. It's always where you see them. You have to be very careful. You see these roads, the way they turn and twist. 
if you're not paying attention, which many people aren't, you come across a bicyclist, a vehicle, a tractor, a horse, a cow, you never know. Anyways, this road has got one of the features that I really like, which is a little stream. I don't know the name of it, which is surprising, I usually do. It's probably a tributary to the Meg. I could look it up when I get home. It's not that important, but it is a nice one. It's a nice little, uh, nice little part of the river. You'll see, it's a few minutes ahead. Anywho, here we go again. See, it's still pretty dark out. Birds are singing away. Some cows in this field usually. Oh, not today, Jimmy. houses I'll pause this now until I get to the stream unless I see some nice horses or something or a dog will chase me one good thing about dogs here in Ireland I'll tell you is they do not chase you very often. People really have them trained well a couple times here and there. I know where some of them are now. Anyways, again, the town, I'm not sure of the name, but it doesn't matter. I'll have a really nice view of the mountain up ahead. And then my little streamy river. You hear the crows in the background. Okay, you gotta watch out on these curves, even though haven't seen a car in ages, you know. If you're gonna see one, here's where you'll see one. The road is actually really good out over here. Good old, good old road. See, it's wide enough. So if there's another vehicle coming, there's no problem with me. You can't even fit another two cars. No, they have to slow down, of course. Sometimes they don't. Anywho, I think my little stream is coming up here because I took a bit of a less turn today, or what you call, maybe a shorter route. Yeah, 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 I'm at my little portion of the stream here. It's, I get to cross over this twice because this loops around, you know. Uh, once I saw a heron here, and not a lot going on here, you know. But look, it's really pretty. You see?
So we'll continue on. So here is another little gem I forgot about actually when I started taking the video, but it's not far out of my way, so I thought I'd peel up here and take a look. Ardskog. Ardska, I say. I don't pronounce the GH. I'm sure the locals do. Ardskog. It's a little, what you'll see, I'm going to turn the camera around here uh, and read the plaque. I have to cross the road, so hang on. And we're on it as long as possible, but I'll just read it off to you. Ardskek. And look at that lovely uh, carving in this plaque. St. Skyeth, Skyeth, erected a nunnery on this site circa 550 A.D. 550 A.D. These walls are the remains of a church erected on the site in the early 1100s, dedicated to St. Michael. <clears throat> so I'm not sure where they got Ardska out of St. Michael and St. Skyeth, but I've been over the wall here. Now it's very wet today, so I'm not going to do it, but what you'll see over there is the ruins. I'll zoom in a bit. You see it there? And you can walk in there. It's just sheep and stuff. No big deal. You step in a step in something. That's about it. But it's very wet, like I said. So I won't go in there today because my feet will get wet. It's a really nice little. Uh, there's a carving in there, and you can go on the inside of it. It's a shell of a, a old church, and it's just a nice little. Well, you know, there's a lot of history out here <clears throat> in in this land here, and a lot of these places are overlooked. Like, if you go on Google Maps to look this one up, you'll maybe see one or two pictures of people, maybe maybe two, me and another couple people that have been here. It's for the Google Maps, no. Of course, people have been here. It's, um, this is not far from the Bailey Hay Church, if you recall. I took a video there last summer, so a year ago now. Uh, there's a really nice church in Bailey Hay, an old 1100s church there, too. Well, this area was settled probably around then. Um, still standing today. This one said 550 was the nunnery. You know, the church itself was 1100s. A lot of churches in this area from the 1100s. So, that being said, uh, you know, there's not much else in there. I don't see any wildlife to take a picture of. Well, you want to see some wildlife. Hang on a sec. How about this wild dude? <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Here I am. My gear, my get up. I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to go back down towards, um, oh, to, back to Charleville. I think, you know, I don't know the names of the towns because they don't really have much going for them as far as what you call landmarks and such. Village, there's no village. There's the village of Effen, but I'm bypass that now. So I'm heading back to Charleville, back home, have a shower. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll take a few more minutes of the trip. I'm trying to think. There's another the river again across the stream. It looks like a river because it just rained. Uh, there may be some horses out. But, you know, I was just thinking because it rained last night, they probably brought them all in. It's, you know, uh, it's not nice for the critters. So, see you soon. Hang on. I'll put my glasses back on. Put my light on. Headlight, you know, right there. Oop, there it is. <laughs> Put it on the old flashers. Okay, I don't want to be visible. You never know what you're going to see around here. Like I said, it's around these curves. <clears throat> you're going to see something. You know, it'll be around a curve. This is the way it is. I don't know why. <laughs> Someone's on my foot. <laughs> Briar. Briar is attacking me. Ah, oh, so. Here we go. Soul Joe, here we go. Again, not much going on on this road. I mean, I'll just pause it because I don't think there's any horses over here. So, woo, unless you want to watch me go really fast. Woo! Burr. Couple of locals. Hello, lads. How are you keeping today? Or gills, I don't know, you know. I never had a cow. 
Pretty, aren't they? A little gaggle of them out there. A gaggle of cows. A gaggle of cattle. Little fellas. Them there are pretty. <laughs> You're not the farmer. Right on, I'm not. <clears throat> I didn't get any videos near the river. As, believe it or not, a train was coming. <laughs> oh, this would have made a lot of noise. Back on the road again. I'd say you never see a car in this road, but you do, you know. You get, you know, if I take this three, four times, you'll see one. That's plenty enough for me. Uh, there's a couple houses here, so people live here, you know. No one's driving 100 miles an hour, but. Just keep your eyes open. Eyes and ears. Can you hear the birds singing in the background? I'll shut up. <clears throat> so this is where I turned left a while ago in the video. So I'll be coming back once I came. 
the direction whence they came. Um, unless I see a horse or something or of interest, I think I'll sign off for now. Maybe, you never know, but if I don't, it was nice seeing y'all. Ciao, Bella. Or Shlanavalia. This is here, Shlanavalia.